Advertising platforms are like crack dealers. They're like new crack dealers in a neighborhood, right? So when a new crack dealer sets up shop, uh, like who's seen any shows where they're taking over the territory? What, what does the new crack dealer always do? They have the clean, uncut product that they move, and then once they get their audience built up, they start cutting it to increase margins. I think Uber did that too, right? Like Uber, when they first moved into markets, the prices would be so dirt cheap. And then once they got everybody hooked on Uber, they were starting to jack up the prices. So these ad platforms are like crack dealers where they'll give you super high quality in the beginning. And then they start slipping in your junk traffic later because they have to move the traffic, right? They have to sell those impressions too because there's inventory. There's only limited inventory on an ad platform. A lot of times people have crazy beginner's luck. So they turn on their ads, they start making a ton of money, and then they overly allocate in scaling and they get too aggressive and they blow their bag, you know? And so that's a, another big thing is like, like they're gonna slip you really high quality traffic. Just make sure, wait it out and see what happens, you know, when you're a week into the campaign because that's when you're gonna really see how the campaign's performing. Everything levels out at scale. Another big thing to understand in the scaling phase is there's a ceiling, right? And you're gonna get diminishing returns as you scale. So people will think very linearly when they go to scale. What I mean by that is they'll think, okay, if I double the budget, I'm gonna get double the leads. Ad campaigns scale sublinearly which what that means is if you double the budget, you're gonna get 1.8 times the number of traffic or the number of leads. That's what I'll generally see, is for each doubling of your budget, you'll, you'll end up losing about that 20% effectiveness. Email quality is a fast indicator for me to figure out lead quality, right? So if I'm getting a bunch of Comcast.net domains I know I got some issues on lead quality, right? And, and then versus if I get first name, last name at Gmail, or I'm getting a branded domain, I know my quality is significantly higher. So if, if you know, someone has an AOL email, I know my quality of traffic's pretty low. Or a bellsouth.net email, it's like, what? How did you still have that? Uh, it, which, so I keep an eye out on that. And generally there are, um, there are guidelines, right? Like, so branded domains are the highest value. Gmails are the next highest value. And then Outlook and Yahoo would be pegged just below them, right? And then, then almost anything else is like, what are you doing here? What does Facebook know about people? Everything. <laughs> they know everything, right? And how does, how does the advertising process work? Like, how, how do they determine what you pay per click? Based on what you engage in. It's an auction, uh, right? So anytime you go to an auction, if something's undervalued, it's usually kind of a red flag. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, so imagine you're at the, the car auction if there's a Ferrari at the car auction, would it go for low value? You know what I mean? There's a certain market rate that's determined based on these things. And so it, it would be weird if you're at a car auction and a Ferrari goes for less than what it would be worth relatively. You know what I mean? So you're, you're, and you're not gonna get like a massive, and, and especially, a Ferrari's not gonna auction off at half of what the value is for it, you know? And, and if, if it goes for whatever, a, a super discounted price, there's likely something wrong with it. You know what I mean? So advertising's an auction and they know everything. They know what credit card you use. They know how much money you're spending online. They know everything. They know what websites you're buying from. Think about it, they have the pixel on everybody's site and it's feeding back your purchasing decisions into the algorithm. So they know everything. So the 
prices are charged according to the quality of the traffic, right? Higher quality traffic is more expensive. So if you have an Amex and you're dropping 10 grand a month on online shopping, it's going to cost advertisers more money to get in front of you, right? If you live in a trailer in Mississippi, it's going to cost less for an advertiser to get in front of you, right? You, you, they know all this stuff. They know if someone's going to a payday loan company and they know if someone has Amex, right? They know everything. And so as a result, they are going to charge according to that. So keep that in mind where I'm willing to pay for premium leads because they end up being less expensive clients in the long term. You know what I mean? Your cost per acquisition will be lower when you pay the premium on leads. And you want to make your model work by being able to bid for the highest quality traffic. Don't make your model depend on trying to somehow get something for nothing or, right, or, or get something way below market value on it. Generally, just guidelines are it's going to be between 15 and 35% of your revenue will get allocated to your advertising spend. And that's varied based on how your service model is set up. So if you're selling courses, you're going to be at 35%. If you're selling coaching products, you're going to be closer to 20 to 25%. 25% is what most coaching programs do at scale. And then uh, if you're selling done for you services, a lot of times you're gonna be closer to 15%, 10 to 15% potentially. Companies will tend to only grow to a certain market size and people will say, I'm gonna scale this to the moon. And that's when you know they're gonna over allocate to ads. They're gonna take on too much risk and then they, they're gonna get whacked if it doesn't work, right? So make sure you're managing your risk appropriately. And the way you do that is you, you run kind of like that, that profit first style model where a percentage of your revenue gets fed back into ads and you just run it on a percentage allocation. So, okay, 20% of my cash collected goes to ads. That's it.